we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace and grace of God be with you. Amen. We pause a moment to call to mind God's loving mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Almighty God, enable us to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in in splendor robed, robed as a lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you will hear the sound it makes. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? 
No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. At Easter time, through, uh, throughout the world, uh, new members were accepted into the church, were brought into the church, uh, either by baptism or by a profession of faith, and all were confirmed and received their communion, joined us in communion. And uh, Nicodemus might very well be one of the patron saints of those who uh, are inquirers into the faith. Because Nicodemus is, a, is a, a teacher of Israel. He holds some kind of pretty high position in the, um, in the faith. And he's, uh, he's inquiring of Jesus. And so we hear this continuing inquiry on the part of Nicodemus. But he's having a hard time because he can't quite let go of his presuppositions and all that he has uh, been taught and learned um, in his previous life, in his past life. So he's having a hard time when Jesus says he, he's got to be born again. He has to be uh, open to the power of the Holy Spirit to refresh his understanding of God. And so Jesus continues to uh, rather patiently, maybe a little bit impatiently, uh, tell him about how he needs to be open to the power of the Spirit if he is going to accept what God is doing in the person of the Son of Man, in the person of Jesus. Because <clears throat> Nicodemus, like uh, most of the people that Jesus is addressing, is having a hard time understanding that uh, God is continuing the, uh, the revelation, the prophecy in the person of Jesus. So we, too, um, have to uh, take stock of our, our belief and the things that we hold firm and, and question, are we being open to the Spirit continuing to reveal and deepen our faith? Or have we kind of closed that to any further revelation, to any further growth or development? Like Nicodemus, um, we are called... Um, to continue to explore and to develop and to question, because questioning is not a bad thing. Questioning is how we learn, right? So continue to develop and inquire and question so that we may grow deeper in the faith. And this Easter season is the time, a good time for doing that. Let us gather our prayers and present them to our God. We pray for all those who have uh, become members of the church uh, at Easter time and their continued growth and exploration of the faith. We pray. We pray for ourselves and for all the members of the church that we may be constantly open to the Spirit's teaching and guidance, growing in faith and in our understanding of the mercy and the love of God, we pray. We pray for those who live in parts of the world that know such violence and war and conflict, that peace may come to them, we pray. We continue to pray for all those who are victims of violence, especially where guns are involved. We pray. We pause now to bring to mind the other prayers that we bring with us today.
For these we pray. Lord. For Lauren and for all we promise to hold in prayers, we pray. For gracious and holy God, open our minds and our hearts to all that you have to teach us and receive these prayers which we speak in the name of Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. How blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual food. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our offering may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Grant, O Lord, that we may find delight in these Paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, on Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising is our rising to new life. Therefore, in paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O Lord, you are indeed holy. You are the source of all holiness. And we ask you to make holy these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup. Once again, he gave you thanks, and giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have counted us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Join in our voices, we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and protected from all anxiety as we await the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look then not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other some sign of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world Happy and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O Lord, hear our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the blessing of God come upon you, the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace of God.